Hey dolls! Welcome back again to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you subscribe before you leave today. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a Valentine's makeup look. Um, I was going to continue my series with the Persona palette, but I'm going to delay that just a little bit just so we can do a Valentine's look because literally Valentine's is next week. So by the time you see this video, it's actually going to be next week. This makeup look is going to be an affordable makeup look because I want it to be something that anyone can just use like whatever they have or drugstore makeup it's not gonna be like high-end or fancy makeup or anything like that just really um, fun and simple and affordable there are gonna be a couple products that I may use within this video that are not like affordable because they're not drugstore products because I don't have drugstore products to replace those items at the moment but for the majority, such as like our foundation and all that stuff, it's going to be affordable. And I'm really excited to use this new lip product I just picked up. It's from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It is a velvet matte lipstick and the color is blushing brown. So the lip color will be brown today and I want to do a very beautiful pink, kind of like that Valentine's theme, but a really bold pink makeup look. So without further ado, I'm going to get this video started. I'm going to list all the products down in the description box down below. And if you do hear a little bit of a humming sound, I do have my fan on because it's pretty warm and I'm wearing this jacket to go with the look and it's really hot and I'm going to start sweating any second. So yeah. So we're going to start off with our eye primer. I don't have a drugstore branded eye primer, so just use whatever primer that you do have. It doesn't matter what it is, what brand. As long as it works, that's all that matters. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal palette that has all these different colors. So I'm just gonna take a neutral shadow, um, just something similar to your skin tone or as close as can be, and then just pop that all over the eyelid. Now I'm gonna take the third shadow here. If you're looking at the palette, it's the third one from your left. Just a neutral brown, it's just for a transition shade. Next, I'm going to be using this BH Cosmetics palette. It is huge, it has 28 eyeshadows in here. And I think I've got this palette for like $10 or $15. It's really cheap, you can get 28 eyeshadows. So I'm gonna take this really bright color. It almost looks like a coralish color. But it's just it's gonna work for this look because we're going to blend it in with a lot of pinks. So we're gonna take this coral color and we're going to place that into our crease. So I switched brushes because the other one just caused a lot of fallout, whereas this one is more compact. It actually holds the shadow. So I do want this look to have more like really deep pink and I don't have any palettes that have like a really really bright pink shadow. So I went and I found one that has somewhat of a more deeper pink which I'm going to use in this video. It is not from an affordable um, brand but you don't have to use the same one. Just find a shade that's like similar. So from the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette I'm going to be using this color here. It's called Cake. I'm going to take my same blending brush and pop that in. So from this BH palette, I'm going to pick the very first shade, which is a very pretty pink color. I'm going to apply that on the lid. So going back to the palette, I'm going to pick up the second shade, which is a very like off-white shadow, and I'm going to use that for our brow bone. So next, I'm going to go back in with a transition shade and just kind of blend out the edges. And now I'm going to apply my eyeliner. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal, the Super Slim Infallible Liquid Eyeliner. Since that's all dried up, I'm going to be using the Insanely Intense Tattooed Waterproof Eyeliner by Sloan Cosmetics. I'm just gonna end up using my Lorac Liquid Liner that I love because none of the eyeliners were actually working. They were all super dried out, so I need to use something that's actually going to work. So at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of the face. I'm gonna put my hair up, that way we can get started on the foundation. Almost forgot, definitely go ahead and use a primer. Use whatever primer that you love. If you don't use primers, that is completely okay. I do tend to skip this step most of the time for my daily routine, so it's definitely up to you and how um, you want the look to come out, but whenever you do use a primer, it does make the look come out a lot more flawless. Before we finish up the rest of the face, I'm going to take a little bit of the color cake and I'm going to line my lower lash line with that shadow. Next, I'm going to apply concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. 
for my contour, I'm going to be using the Fit Me Shine Free and Balance Foundation Stick. I just take a darker shade. This one is in the color 340 Cappuccino. Then I'm taking this L'Oreal powder to set my concealer. This is the color Mauve from NYX Cosmetics. And I'm just going to curl my lashes and then apply some mascara. I'm going to use the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline. And now for the brows, I'm going to use the Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel from Rimmel London in the shade 003 Dark Brown. And since I don't have a drugstore highlight, I'm going to take that same shade from the palette that we used to highlight our brow bones and I'm going to apply that as my highlight. This actually works really well as a highlight. It's like, bam. And now the color of the hour is going to be our lipstick. We're going to try out this velvet matte lipstick. I've never used anything like this, so I am really excited to try it and see what it feels like and how it looks with our makeup look. That just glides on like a dream. Okay, I wasn't intentionally trying to taste the lipstick, but I ended up did trying it out. And it's actually a very like Swedish taste, but now that it's set on my tongue for like a second, it does kind of taste weird. But this glides on like a dream. You literally can't help but taste it because once you apply it, like kind of like I don't know, it releases something that um, hits your taste buds. So the patching says that this is a silky matte lipstick glides easily onto the lips to lock on moisture with a vibrant matte color which I totally agree it like just glided on and you see the pigmentation is amazing it's infused with argan oil rose and vitamin E to help condition replenish and soothe the lips I think what I taste is that bit of like rose and oil kind of combination because it it has a weird taste afterwards like I don't know it's just kind of like there it is I don't know it's just, it's very interesting but I love it. I love the way it looks. I actually ordered two more different colors from the website and it won't get here in time for this video. That's why I went ahead and just did it so I can show you guys this lip color. But I will say if you do try this out, this is a blushing brown. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I cannot believe the pigmentation and the way it feels and how it just glides on. Once I get the other two, I will take some pictures and I will post that on my blog which is going to be makeupinala.com but like I said I don't get the lipstick until the day after Valentine's so probably not till a couple days afterwards I'm going to be posting it on the blog with some swatches so you guys can see it so definitely follow me on here and also on Instagram it's the same name makeup by Yanella and I will also update you guys once I actually receive the lipsticks but here is the completed makeup look I really hope that you guys enjoyed it I love how it turned out I know at first the eye makeup was looking kind of like scary because we're doing a lot of pinks and sometimes doing pinks can make you look sick but I love the way it turned out and like I said today I used pretty much everything that was drugstore except for one eyeshadow and my liquid liner and that everything was drugstore and super affordable especially the lipstick is super affordable you can check out e.l.f. you can check out your local drugstore or online or any of or anyone who is selling these products it's so so nice I like want to go and buy every color now literally but yeah I hope you really enjoy this look and you can definitely try this out for your Valentine's date or non date or if you're just at home you can do your makeup and just have a good old time with yourself and watch some Netflix and chill whatever it is that you do this is a great look just for that and just want to do a shout out to all my Belizean people who watch my videos I really really appreciate it if you did watch this and you are Belizean just show me some Belizean love I would love to see that and for those of you who don't know I am Belizean that's why I am saying that but for all of you who do watch thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already happy Valentine's Day I hope you have a lovely and beautiful Valentine's Day even if you're single don't worry I'm right there with you I'm in the single crowd so we'll be fine anyways y'all I will talk to you all later Bye. Oh my gosh, I'm dying of heat.